Okay, so in our previous chapters, we had used the backend as cloud storage buckets for load balancers. So in this particular chapter, we'll start using virtual machine instances as a backend for load balancers. Now, before doing that, I need to explain to you the concept of auto scaling in GCP. So auto scaling enables you to scale up your virtual machine instances based on certain parameters like CPU utilization, etc. So for example, if the CPU utilization of a virtual machine goes beyond a certain threshold, then you can increase the number of your virtual machines, let's say from one to two. So in this particular chapter, we'll see on how we can create auto scaling in GCP. So to do that, there are two concepts that I would need you to understand. The first one is instance template. So instance template is basically, so it contains all information with regards to the type of VM that you're going to use, the configuration, the CPU, as well as the image that you're going to use for your virtual machine. So once you've configured your instance template, the next thing that you'll do is you will create an instance group out of this particular instance template that you've created. So what we'll do in this particular example is that based on the instance template template, we will create one particular instance in our instance group. And once we've created this instance, we will increase the CPU utilization of this particular instance to more than 60%. And this is the configuration that we're going to choose. And once it goes above 60%, another virtual machine would get automatically created due to the auto scaling. And again, after we've created this new instance, we will decrease the CPU utilization to below 60%. And this particular CPU or this particular virtual machine would get deleted automatically. And there would be just one remaining. So that is how you scale up and scale down your virtual machine in using your instance group. So let's see how this is done in real life. So I'll see you in the console. Okay, so I'm back in my compute engine. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll create our instance template. So to do that, you can just go to your instance templates, which is basically under the virtual machine. So let's click on instance template. And what we'll be doing is we'll be creating an instance template. And let's choose the configuration that we need. So the configuration that I would choose would be again E2. And I will choose E2 micro. And let's make the boot disk as standard persistent. Click on select. And the last thing that we'll do is we'll also add a startup script. So let's go down. And under management, let's add a startup script. So, the, so all that the startup script does is it installs Apache and it will display the host name in the index.html file. So let's copy this. Now, again, this particular script I'll give in the description below. So you can just check that out and let's click on create. Okay, so now that we've created our instance template, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go down and we need to create our instance group. So let's go down and create our instance group. Let's click on create instance group. And here, the first thing that we need to do is we need to select the instance template that we've created. So basically it's instance template file that we had just created. So let's select this. And we can just leave everything as it is. Now, if you want your virtual machine to reside in just one zone, you can click on single zone, or if you want it to be evenly distributed, you can just click it on, click on multiple zones. So let's just choose the multiple zones. And the auto scaling here that we would choose would have a minimum number of one instance. And let's make the maximum number of instances as three. So what would happen is at the max, there can only be three instances that can get created. So even though we might add an auto scaling matrix, even if that auto scaling matrix does cross that particular threshold, a maximum number of only three instances will be created. So that is what this particular maximum number of instances means. And finally, let's choose the auto scaling metric. And the metric that we would choose would be CPU utilization of 60%. So if the CPU, the average CPU utilization crosses 60%, then a new instance would be created. So that is what this means. So let's leave everything as default and let's click on create. And our instance template has been created and it has created one instance. So let's see that particular VM instance. So you can go to your VM instance and you can see that particular instance. So, so the next thing that we'll do is we will increase the CPU utilization of this to more than 60%. Now to do that, let's click on SSH. Now I have used the Stack Overflow page to get a particular command to increase my CPU utilization. Now this is the particular command. Now this particular page I will give in the description below. So you can just check that out. So let's run this particular command. So once you run this command and let's do a top, you can see that the CPU utilization goes up to 100%. So what this would do is it will basically trigger another virtual machine instance to get created. So let's see if that has happened. So let's go back to our VM instance. 
and let's go to our instance group and here if you refresh the instance group page you can see that three instances have got created so let's open this and here if you go to the monitoring you can see how the instance changed from one instance to three instances over here so this gives you all the detailed information it can also give you information about the cpu utilization so here you can see that the capacity is 60 percent so that's basically the threshold and if you cross, cross that particular threshold, new instances will get created. Now, because we've added just a limit of three, so that's the reason why you can see only three instances getting created. Okay, so now the next thing that we'll do is we'll scale down our particular auto scaling group. Now, to do that, all that I need to do is I just need to kill this process, and that will cause the CPU utilization to go down below 60%. So let's do that. So if I do a kill, and let's add the process number as 2159. So let's just run this. Now let's do a top command to see the CPU utilization. So you can see that the CPU utilization has gone down. So now what will happen is after around five to 10 minutes, you can see that the number of instance will keep going down from one, from three to one. So let's wait for that to happen. Okay, you can see that the instance number has come down from three to two. And now let's keep refreshing this. And you can see that after a few minutes that this will come down from two to one. So that is how auto scaling works. So if you have any doubts about this, please get in touch with me. Meanwhile, I'll also send you the code in the description below, which you can use in your startup script. So that's it for this lecture. I hope this was useful. I will see you in the next.